Conference the never won an Olympic gold medal. But today he's found true recognition in the pro sport. He's an artist, scenic designer, and television commentator. Has his new recognition made up for the lack of Olympic gold? Well, Jim, I think that if I received an honorary gold Olympic medal, I'd be much more pleased. Mm. Uh, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not really. Um, the, the, I guess the, the biggest compliment to my skating career is that um, when one travels, travels internationally, and you might go to an East Germany or you go to a Japan, and you actually see little fragments of yourself in the young skaters, um, it doesn't mean that you beat your chest, but it is, it's amusing to see it and to also to realize that you did actually have a certain influence on a sport or an art sport. Do you look back on the days when you were doing these wonderful things and looking over at the judges and finding the same old marks time after time with some bitterness? Well, do you know that the bitterness creeps in not for me today, but perhaps as a commentator when I see the same old things being done and there's a part of me that is outraged by um, the injustice of some of the marking that one sees. You think that maybe after 20 years of uh, perhaps a new style that has been introduced that they would know better. Yeah. And actually I think that very little has changed. However, I, I like to believe that the top skaters succeed in the end. I think that sooner or later, um, they do win. And now, Cranston, the skating artist. A hushed crowd in Madison Square Garden and skating to match the great operatic music that accompanies it. jumps and the way taller as only taller can do following from one move instantly into another his interpretation of Pagliacci a first-rate one I was talking to him backstage and he hasn't skated for a month don't you believe it what he said
what a marvelous artist and skater he is. You know, he's been somebody who has developed and brought himself up to the epitome of skating, really completely almost on his own. It's been an extraordinary development. Both a stylist, a creative influence in the sport, a wonderful technician, and I think one of the most intelligent people in the world of skating. Certainly not one-dimensional. He's written a book. He's a cartoonist, a scenic designer, costume designer, artist. Don't say a word. <laughs> I can't take on you out of condition. <laughs> You're not out of condition. That was terrific. You know, I particularly like that triple salco that flies right into that marvelous taller Cranston stag jump. You know, you're the greatest. Well, Dick, you know, the funny thing about my competing here was that I should never have competed here because I didn't do my homework and I was too involved with painting. But I think now you can skate with your brain as much as your body. And I was just thinking about what I was doing. And Will you always on the ice create a marvelous picture for me? And it's fabulous to see you, whether you're painting or skating, because it's a combination of both. Thank Here are your marks, Taller. Number one, jumps and footwork. On jumps and footwork, and 9.8. I think Gordy McKellen there recognizes some of those beautiful jumps. Fritz Deedle, can you on 9.9. Uh, Maria Jelinek, the pair skating champion, a 9.9, a 9 9.7 9 from Hans Gershweiler, a 9.6 from Tommy Walsh. That's Tommy Walsh, 9.7. Here's Tommy Walsh, 9.7. Here's Tommy Walsh, 9.7. Here's Tommy Walsh, 9.7. The 9.6. 9.9, and a 10. Well, hell. Well, hell. Very good. From the singer, Barbara Cook, a 10. 9.7. I think Barbara Cook recognizes and understands what you're doing there. That's that's terrific. Toller, congratulations. Thank you. Toller Cranston, one of a kind. Win or lose, an original, an innovator, and an artist. Will his marks hold up against those yet to skate, including Robin Cousins? <laughs>